Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Circuit of Virtual X, where you experience property purchase like never before. We are still live from our virtual auditorium, bringing you a list of live webinars and happenings. Well, so what is next, you may ask? Well, if you were with us yesterday, you have seen this man's loving, caring, and also relaxed side of him. But tonight, he is going to unleash the fury, the other side of him, that has made him a very well-known household name. And since this is a Sunday night and most of us are trying to settle down into our routines next week, I will present you the savior of our Sunday night blues. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Harith Iskandar. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for that introduction, bro. Um, well, unleash, is it? Well, I'm, I'm a little bit scared now. I'm, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be unleashing anything on anyone in the next half an hour or so. But first of all, I just want to say uh, good evening. Assalamualaikum, everyone. My name is Hart Skanda. And uh, we're, we're coming to the end of this, this uh, Satya Virtual X event over the last three days. I hope you've had a good time. I hope you've, you've been enjoying uh, all the webinars, all the information that you've been getting. I just want to let you know that uh, I am also uh, watching uh, you watching me, okay? So uh, I will be engaging with you via the chat. For example, Cheryl Lee here says, hi, Harith. Well, hello, Cheryl. So here's what I want you to do, guys and girls. Uh, engage with me. Don't, don't, don't get, don't, like, don't ask me for an engagement, but engage with me. Connect with me, talk with me, chat with me. Uh, I will be following your chats right here on um, the chat group. And then we can, you know, we can hang out. You know what? It's Sunday night. Sunday night. Let, let me put it this way. Uh, those of you who are watching this right now on a Sunday night is like, wow, end of the week. You know, we're just going to chill. Um, we've got really nothing, nothing else to do. We're just going to let it all go. We're going to let it all out. How has your week been? Hope your week has been good. All right. So people have already started to engage. Good. Uh, Jason Bourne. Oh, Jason Bourne. Hey, how you doing? We had John Wick last night and now it's Jason Bourne. So uh, I'm just waiting for uh, what, James Bond to come. Uh, Anybody who says James Bond like me, you know that they are above 40 years old, because like, that is such an old reference. Ralph Tan, good evening, Sean C. Hi, Harith. Yao Lung Wong. You so handsome. <laughs> Yao Lung Wong. Wow, you so handsome. I bet you say that to all the guys. Hmm? Yun Long? Lung? Should I call you Wong? Yeah. You just simply go up to any guy. Hey, brother, you so handsome. Hey, yo. What do you want? My answer to you, like, what you want from me? You want something, isn't it? Sure, you want something. Because I would use that line on a guy if I wanted something. So let's be honest. Be truthful. You just let me know what you want. All right. Joseph Chung. Hi, Harith. Hey, Joseph. What's going on? Lawrence Cha. Good evening, guys. It's pouring rain, rain. Lawrence Cha, where are you? There is pouring rain, rain. Because I am here in the joke factory in Publica, which is in Monchiara. It's a stand-up comedy club uh, that I that I run and own. Uh, and I, on my way here, it was raining a little bit, but not like rain, rain, because you said it's raining, rain, rain, like pouring rain, rain. Where are you, Lawrence? Let me know, okay? KK, KLKL says, Harith, oh, first of all, Ines Sulaiman, hello, Cindy Koo, hello, SL Go. Harith, do you live in a house built by SP Sitia? <laughs> Straight in, huh, KL? This is like, by the way, I want to know, KLKL, is that your real name? Or did your parents just call you KL? Uh, and then being Malaysian, every time someone meets you, they repeat, hey, KL, 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 KL. How? In Malaysians, we repeat everything we say. We repeat everything we say. Have you ever been in a cinema? You see a Malaysian on the phone? Yeah, okay. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. No, nah, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Go movie, movie, movie. Watching movie, watching movie. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Okay, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Okay, okay, okay. Bye, 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 bye. So is it like KL, 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 KL? So, no. Or is it just KL? You let me know, KL. All right, there you go. Oh, Lung. <laughs> okay, the night has begun. Wong has says, I want you. If I had a camera operator operating my Zoom, he'd be Zooming at this very moment. I want you. 
Tamil movie style. I want you to Wong. But let's not go there. This is family friendly. This is Satya, virtual X. Although the X is there, let's keep it family friendly. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Karen Lowe, good evening. Harith, good evening. Wow, so many nice people. Good evening to everyone. Cal, Cal, Calvin, yo, you have many properties. Calvin, the way you say that, uh, you sound like a tax consultant. Hey, brother, you got many property. Uh? I help you. I help you. I, I, I don't know whether, is that a question or a statement? Are you asking me if I have many properties or are you telling me I got many properties? I'm not so sure. There was no question mark there. So uh, I'm presuming you're just telling me you got many property. Guess what, Kelvin? You too. <laughs> okay. Aida Fakira Zali, hi, Harith. You look shining. <laughs> you look, by the way, you look shining. I don't know how old you are. When I was very, very young, there was a movie called The Shining, which came out starring Jack Nicholson. And it was a horror movie. I never wa I watched, that's the only horror movie I ever watched. Never watch another horror movie, except The Exorcist. So when you say you look shining, I'm like, what? Never. <laughs> Because uh, I know you can't see this at the moment. I'm actually in the joke factory uh, in the theater. And it's actually very dark. Only the lights are shining on me. But everywhere is very dark. And you know, the Malaysians, the moment we see something dark, we know we, we will see out the side of our eye. Have you, ever, have you ever seen anything out the side of your eye? Yeah? You just you see something? Malaysians, we all, we all know there's something there. What is the cardinal rule about from Malaysian when you're driving down the highway, right? What is the cardinal rule when you're sitting al in, alone in the car? What is the rule that everybody knows? In Malaysian, you understand? That's right. Do not look in your rear view mirror. Right or not? Right or not? That's the rule. You're driving. You're driving. Do not look in the rear view mirror. Why? Because you might see something. But the moment someone tells you not to look in your rear view mirror, what do Malaysians do? We, we want to look. Like you're driving, you're like... <sighs> Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, make don't know, make don't know, make don't know. But I want to look, I want to make don't know, make I want to look, make don't know. But you will look, you will look, bah! and then there'll be Juan sitting behind you. I'm not saying Juan will be sitting behind. Don't don't listen to me. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Joseph Chung. Oh, SL Go says the spotlight is too bright. Oh, that's what you mean. Shining, shining. Haha. <laughs> Guys, it's not that the spotlight is too bright. It's just that, you know, like, whoo. It slides off the top of my head. Okay. Basically, or is it basically because your bota SL Go says? SL Go, how did you notice I'm bota? <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyway, guys, so let's 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 get I'm just I'm just gonna roll with it. It's Sunday night. We're gonna chill. I hope you've had a good weekend. Uh, did you all stay home and just like stay on your devices watching SP uh, the Satya virtual X event? Did you go out? If you went out, I hope you wore your masks and all. Um, here's the thing though, right? In the last five months, remember the first two, three weeks of the uh, original MCO where we were all restricted to a house. We couldn't even go jogging outside and all. Then you remember when they relaxed it to the RMCO, where you could travel further than 10 kilometers. Right. That was the most jam ever. The whole of Malaysia, everybody, the moment they lifted the MCO to RMCO, we all went out. Like, just simply go out. Don't need to go out, so we went out. That's one thing about Malaysians. But you got to give credit to Malaysians. Malaysians, when the government called for MCO, we all stayed home. Like, we all, we all listened. Like, not, have you seen what's happening in America? Like, in America, in Europe, you cannot tell people to stay home. Like, stay home or you'll die. How would they reply? It's my right to die. I want it. If I want to die, I will die. I don't need to wear a mask. I can die if I want to die. That's, that's a problem with freedom of speech. That's a problem with just giving everyone rights. But Malaysians, luckily we are Asians. When the government said stay home, we all stay home. Why? Because we grew up in Asian households. We had parents who from the age of zero until you get married and move out of the house, they ask you to stay home. You stay home. I have got friends who are 35 years old, not married, still at home, cannot come out at night because the parents say, don't go out after Maghrib. It's like, just still stay home. But that's a good thing about being Asian. All right. So, my God, Wong. Wong is still excited. I know what I'm, I'm not going to... Siti Farhana Abdullah, share some jokes, please, to cheer us up. 
to be ready for the week ahead. What have I been doing for the last 15 minutes? How? I, I thought I was doing okay. <laughs> okay, that's a, no. Here's the thing, though. As a stand-up comedian, I get on a daily basis people coming up to me. Hey, hurry, comedian! Ah, <laughs> tell me a joke. No, that that you don't do that. I mean, you you don't you don't walk into you don't walk in some way meet someone. Hey, what do you do? Oh, I'm an accountant. Oh, you're accountant? Ah. Count for me, count for me. <laughs> you don't do that. But <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. We want to go to the week ahead. First of all, let me tell you, Siti Farhana, let me know right now what is in the week ahead for you. What's going to happen? Give me uh, one or two incidents or one or two things that you're going to do. And I will do some stand up comedy based on what you tell me, Siti Farhana. Okay, so for example, my week ahead. Uh, what have I got a week ahead? Well, we've just opened the joke factory, so I'm going to be I'm back I'm back to work basically uh, five six days a week. Um, my kids are going back to school tomorrow, so after five months of holiday, tomorrow first day of school, I got to wake them up in the morning. I got now I've got three kids. Uh, all three go to school. Two can wake up quite well. One is one of them. I guarantee you, I'm going to be carrying him on the back of my shoulder walking him into school tomorrow he'll be fully dressed in his school clothes still not awake that one I, that's like my wife actually my wife cannot wake up my you know why my wife cannot wake up because she's up till two in the morning thinking of things to do working out strategies and talking to me i'm trying to sleep i'm old i want to sleep but my wife is up but then i wake up at six in the morning so i'm good okay so city farhana is back hectic schedule how hectic farhana Siti Farhana, tell me how, give me a specific, what is your hectic schedule like? Okay. KL, will Liverpool win Championship League next year? Ha <laughs> ha. First of all, KL, I don't know whether you are a Liverpool supporter um, or a Manchester United supporter. That is the thing about Malaysians. We love football, right? We love the English Premier League. We love sports that we can't play very well ourselves. Yeah. Because Malaysian... Our football is good. It's good. It's okay. But it's not at that level, right? It's not like it's not like back in the day. Now, when I say back in the day, I'm talking about the 80s and the 70s when I was a kid. Those days, Malaysian football was awesome. I tell you, we had players like So Chin An, R. R. Mugam, Santo Singh, Mokta Dahari, the legends. Those days, we used to play South Korea and Japan, and we're not scared of them. Not scared. Huh. South Korea, huh. We play Japan. Ha! Huh? If Philippines wanted to play us, we would play blindfolded. We were not scared. Singapore want to play us. Ha! Huh? Myanmar. Ha! Huh? You also. You got no grass in your country. Ha! Huh? We not scared. Nowadays, when we play Timor Leste, also we a bit scared. But not to say what we're we're climbing up again. But I just I I remember fondly the good old days when my father used to take me to the Medeka Stadium and watch Malaysian football it was amazing it was great i tell you uh, i remember my father would bring me to the stadium and he would encourage me to be a good malaysian football fan and how do you be a good malaysian football fan he would show me he would said harit this is how you are a good malaysian football fan he would look out onto the padang then he would spot something and he would say oi right referee bodo kayu bota balik kampung ah yeah he would do that and the best part was the game not yet even started. He was just warming up. That was my father, man. Awesome. So, there we go. Joseph Chung says, Hi, Harith. What would you choose in between your girl girlfriend contact with a hundred guys at the same time or one, but it's her ex-boyfriend? Okay. All right. So, we are... Hi, I'm Oprah Winfrey. Let's talk. I'm Dr. Phil Hartman. Let's talk right now. So, Joseph, you've got a problem. You've, you've got a choice to make, right? You want to, you're saying, and I'm not saying this is real. Hypothetically speaking, uh, would, would you rather choose, or you're asking me, would I rather choose between uh, having a girlfriend who is in contact with a hundred guys at the same time or one, but it happens to be her ex-boyfriend? First of all, Joseph, if I have a girlfriend who's in contact 
with a hundred guys at the same time. I'd be like, what? How do you do that? Your fingers must be aching. Like you're WhatsApping a hundred people at the same time. Are all these boyfriends in one chat group? I'm like the same chat group. That's irritating, isn't it? Having a hundred guys in the same chat group all trying to hit on one girl. But respect to her. Or that one girl who's in constant contact with one person, but it's the ex-boyfriend. I'll be like, oh, how's he doing? Is he all right? Because it's just your ex. I am your now. Huh. Ex now. Different level. <laughs> all right, Joseph, let me give you a little bit of advice right now. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right. Like I, I, I'm, I'm married right now, but I remember when I was in relationship with girlfriends. Uh, I do remember one time I was walking with my uh, girlfriend at the time and we were walking in Mid Valley and I was holding her hand, walking, walking, walking. And I actually bumped into my ex-girlfriend. So I was with my current girlfriend, now girlfriend that time, bump into my ex-girlfriend. So of course, you must talk to your ex-girlfriend. You must be cordial. Like, Hi, how are you? Hey, very nice. And I introduced to my now girlfriend and I was very clear. I introduced, Hi, this is my girlfriend. Must be very clear, sharp, concise. Do not stutter. Hi, I'd just like you to meet my girlfriend. And my girlfriend was very, my ex-girlfriend was, oh, man, man. So I was talking to my ex, just talking. But I talk a little bit too long. Just a little bit too long. How do I know it's too long? Because when I say goodbye, I look around, my girlfriend gone. Too long. Do not linger too long. That's all I'm going to say to you, Joseph. Don't linger too long. All right, here we go. Jason Bourne, how do I escape the feds? All right, Jason Bourne, uh, in Malaysia, we don't have feds. We got police and they got roadblocks everywhere. Cannot escape. All right. So don't even try. Just don't do anything wrong. Okay. Stay on the right side of the law. Okay. Here we go. Siti Farhana Abdullah. Finally, let me just get back to you. Lots of weekly reports to prepare and publish. No time for proper meal until around 5 p.m. Intermittent fasting. Farhana, you are already on your intermittent fasting journey. Okay, perfect. Lots of reports to prepare and publish. No time for proper meal around 5 p.m. But still got time to watch this streaming. Ha <laughs> ha. Go girl. I tell you what. Farhana, I, I, you know what? Be thankful that you are, you are you're employed. You've got work. Uh, I like being busy myself. So... I wish you all the best and uh, you're going to at least lose weight. So look at it from the positive side of things. Frida Anak Tamun. Harith, any plan to have one kids? Um, a bit tough for me to start planning to have just one kid, Frida, because at the moment I got three. So uh, what you're asking me is, do you want me to get rid of two of my kids? Is that what you're asking me? If I have plans to have one kid, uh, I have to get rid of two of them. Now, which would I get rid of? It's hard to tell. I like them all. I love them all. But uh, yeah, so Frida, I've got three kids. Ah, you have not been following social media, girlfriend. Like that, like that. Follow me on Harith Iskanda, one, one word, H-A-R-I-T-H-I-S-K-N-D-E-R, on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. And you will see, I got three kids. My God. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I wish I had one sometimes, but <laughs> as I'll go, how many ex-girlfriends do you have, Harith? You want me to get in trouble, is it, bro? Huh? You, th you think my wife didn't register to watch this, sir? To answer your question, none. <laughs> no, I had a few relationships. Of course, we all do. You have a few relationships and you pick the right one, as I have done. <laughs> this one they call Ayat. Ayat, you just, if you if you see my wife in the chat room, you just mention to her, I just Ayat her. Okay, we'll do that. Lawrence Chia, Harith, how do you pick up chick when you were young? <laughs> this conversation, we've got a lot of young, or I would say single people here in the house. How do you pick up chick when you were young? I am Malaysian. I pick up chick the Malaysian way. When I see the girl I like last time, I see, first I tell my friend, bro, Hot chick, bro. You must inform friend so that you like chop lah. You like chopping her. You chop so a friend don't attack first. You 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 make first move, okay? First move, inform friend, bro. Hot chick, bro. Then friend will give permission, bro. You go first, bro. And then you do 
the classic Malaysian pick up chick line. Ah, like that. Why oh, tell you uh, that line? Uh, girls love it. They love it so much. You know what they do? They make don't know. When a girl make don't know, that means she likes it. Yeah, that's how stupid I was when I was single. Don't do that. That's a joke. Okay. Do not. What the hell is that? What you you don't even call chickens like that? Okay. Much less chicks. Huh? And don't call a chick a chick. It's a girl. It's a woman. There you go. Che, politically correct straight away. Okay. Could you suggest some pickup lines for guys? Jen Liu. Jen, uh, are you asking because uh, you would like to hear some good pickup lines? You know what, Jen? I'm I'm of the uh, opinion uh, the best pickup lines are just you just got to be authentic. Like if if you find someone attractive, just say, "Wow, I couldn't help but say, I just want to tell you that you're amazingly attractive." Oh, I see, Jen. I can see already. You're on watching on your laptop. You slip off the chair already, isn't it? Yeah, right or not? Right or not, Jen? You let me know whether you slipped off your chair. SL Go says, "Hi, Harith. Uh, what do you think of Uncle Roger, Nigel Ung? Do you feel threatened? Threatened? Why did he did he threaten me or something? I'm not so sure. Nigel Ung is a friend. Nigel Ung. He's 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 a, Mal- a Malaysian. Well, no, not really a Malaysian anymore. He's living in England right now. Uh, when he came back, he performed at the Joke Factory right here on this stage. Good buddy of mine. Fantastic. Very funny. Uh, I wish him all the success. His Uncle Roger character is really um, going through the roof. That's amazing. There is nothing better than seeing a friend have some success. And and well deserved to him. The guy works damn hard. He's on his social medias. He's always he's very concerned and, and wanting to know about the people who are following and liking and him. So respect the Nigel Ng. Do I feel trapped in bust? I meet him, I kill the bugger. <laughs> Joke! Relax, people. There we go. Okay. Harith, are you a Trump guy or a Biden guy? Guy here. See how interested we are in American politics? Right. So those of you who are uninitiated, uh, Trump is Trump. Uh, Biden is the uh, contender. And he's just chosen his running mate, which is uh, Kamala Harris. Uh, has Trump chosen his running mate? I'm not so sure anybody can answer that question. But so, uh, am I a Trump guy or a Biden guy? You know what? I got to give it up for Trump. I got to give it up for Trump. He's got the best words. He's got the best words, the best words. All his words are great. In fact, in fact, there's no other words better than the words that he has. He's got the best. He's got the best. So, you know, I don't know enough about both of them that I can't say that I'm either. Uh, okay, so, Pei Jin Lim, do you dream of your ex-girlfriend while sleeping next to your wife? <laughs> So uh, my my buddy and tech guy Billy at the side is just laughing right now. I don't know how it's becoming this. So see, Ahmed, Ahmed Rafik next has asked a pretty decent question. Do you invest on property recently? Let's get back to Jean Lim. Do you dream of your ex girlfriend while sleeping next to your wife? That's a very specific question. What if I dreamt of her when I'm sleeping on the couch? Because the previous night I had told my wife that I dreamt of my ex girlfriend sleeping next to her. Get it? <laughs> Dreams is just a dream. Dreams are just manifestations of what is uh, in your unconscious mind. It doesn't really mean I could. I dream of. I dream of you know, a Mercedes or a Ferrari. I, I don't necessarily like want one because I have one. <laughs> no, I don't. But that's the thing, though. It's just, it's just a manifestation. It's it's your unconscious mind. It doesn't mean anything. Although my wife is a big believer, like she will wake up, oh, I dreamt of a green elephant. You know, it must mean, and I, I know I know the Chinese have got this, they've got this dream book, right? You dream of sky and cloud, it means something else. You dream of this, it means something else. So there, I guess there are some, you know, some interpretations of dreams. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't remember my dreams when I wake up. That's a problem. Yeah. I don't remember most things anyway, even when I'm awake. That's even more of a problem. So I don't remember stuff when I'm awake. I'm not going to remember my dream. Okay. Do I invest in in property recently? No, I've not invested in property recently. Uh, Ahmad Rafiq, I bet you're going to try and sell me some, but that's awesome for you. Here, 
Te Siu Lie says, now there is a limit to physical attendance to conferences and comedy shows. How do you overcome this drastic drop in income and your, is your comedy enough? What are the businesses do you have and which is currently the most profitable? Oh, very good question. Now there, uh, Siu Lie, uh, Te Siu is an amazing question. Uh, so, yeah. As all of you know, I am a stand-up comedian, but that is not the only thing I do. I, I, I also run a stand-up comedy club and a restaurant, The Joke Factory. Uh, it's been going on for two years. We were closed during the MCO, and now we're open. And I am also uh, in partnership with my wife. My wife is a, a PhD in stem cell therapy research, and she has a stem cell therapy research company called Cell Biopeutics Resources, um, which is uh, a $10 million company, and she's very smart and very all that, and uh, what is my part of it in this? Uh, I just help her easy the borang and drive her around and pay for the touch and go because s stem cell therapy is just, <laughs> you know why my head is bald? Because everything that she says about stem cell therapy goes <laughs> straight through, takes off all my hair. I have no idea what she's talking about. You should hear my wife. She's so scientific. I've, I've no idea. So yes, uh, those are the businesses that I do. Um, and I, among other things, I'm also in, in production as well. So, but thank you for that question. But we are all affected, guys. Everyone is affected. Uh, in fact, the bigger you are, the probably more affected you are. And it's, um, you know, that it's it's not a great time uh, for anyone. But uh, I believe in in the power of positivity, and I believe that uh, if you if you do good work and you are a good person and, and you prove yourself to be good, good things will come to you. So there you go. Can I bring a date to Comedy Club? KLKL. Question is, do you have a date? Huh? <laughs> if you got, bring, brother. Nothing better than have, having someone laugh beside you. Seriously. It's just connection is made. Come to the Joke Factory. Follow us on thejokefactory.com.my on Instagram and Facebook. Check out all the shows. Come, 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 come. Okay. Wong, do you invest in glove stocks recently? Your gloves are a hot item, right? Right now it's hot, man. That's why you got to wear gloves to do gloves. Ha <laughs> ha. But the, dish, that was a joke. Get it? When I wear gloves because they're hot to touch gloves. Never mind. Okay. So, yes. Uh, no, I did not invest in gloves. I, uh, you know what? That is a, that is a brilliant. You sh I should have realized six months ago, time to invest in gloves. How would I have known? Okay. Do you conduct classes for comedians? Pay Jean Lim. Yes, I do, actually. Uh, I have done so previously at the Joke Factory, and I will be doing some more at the Joke Factory. Uh, classes for, for comedy, classes for comedy writing, classes for uh, emceeing, uh, classes just for generally uh, talking in front of the public. But uh, So keep a lookout for that. I'll follow me on Harith Iskandar. I'm doing, doing so much self-promotion. Why not? Um, Ida Fakira, once again, what do you think of investing in property now, currently in this slow economic climate? Well, you know what? Uh, I am no property magician, but I do understand that in this current property climate, I've been told that this is actually the best time to invest because, um, you know, I, I believe um, prices have dropped. You can get better bargains right now. Uh, out of every crisis, out of every economic downturn, um, a lot of good can come if you have the resources to build on that downturn. Uh, not everybody has, but it is a good, it's a good time that you have a little bit of money to put aside and maybe put into property. I don't know. I'm not a, not a property salesperson. I don't know. I'm not just saying this. Because Satya, doing a show for them, I don't know, not me. I'm not saying that. Charles Leclerc, well, racing driver. Do you want to drive an F1 car with me, Harith? Charles. Sure, Charles. I, I see. I know you're a F1 driving. Uh, do you know that I used to race myself? Yes. I raced super bikes uh, and also cars. For a very brief moment, I raced in two motorcycle races. One was the old Batu Tiga track in Shah Alam. How many of you remember that track? Shalom, and once in Sepang. Both races, <laughs> I fell. Yeah, not a not a very good race, racing motorcycle racer. Yeah. But uh, yeah. KK, can you match make a date for me at Joke Factory? Hey, brother, wait, hold on, wait. Just now you asked me whether you can bring a date to the Joke Factory. Now you want to me to match make for you. Can, can. Kale, tell you what, hit me up. 
on my in Instagram or, or social media on Facebook, uh, and I will make you um, a prize to uh, one of the hot chicks that comes here. I presume, KL, you're a guy, I'm presuming. If you're not, we'll work something out. But uh, I will I will make, make a date for the best person for you, KL, KL. Uh, maybe I'll find a girl whose name is PJ, PJ. <laughs> that was such a bad joke. Billy, don't laugh. That's really, that was really bad. Okay. KL, KL, PJ, 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 KL, KL. What's the problem? You can't meet traffic jam. Ha, <laughs> ha. Uh, Lawrence Chia, how do you see life, Harith? A joke? Do I see life as a joke? Okay, let's get serious for a moment. Uh, a joke, uh, a joke, when you say the word joke, life can be a joke, right? Like, so in Malaysia, uh, you blink one time, the government can change. Ha ha ha, right? So, so fast. But Here's the thing. Life is life is life. You have what you have. Either you choose to laugh at it or you choose to get upset at it. So that things will happen. You can't change things that happen. What you can change are your reaction to things that happen. And that is basically what humor is all about. Humor is designed for you to look at something. We tell you a story. We, we make fun of it. The reason you laugh is because you 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 understand the familiarity you know that what we're talking about is true and yet we've made you laugh because we talk about it in a different point of view and so you're laughing at something that could be tragic but suddenly you're laughing about it and that is the use for humor so do i see life as a joke i don't think life is a joke but you are allowed to joke about life seriously malaysians we get too serious sometimes we just get too serious netizens are out there serious about everything everything is oh, i'm very upset I'm very upset. This is too serious. Okay, there we go. Okay. Siti Farhana says, KL, KL needs six days a week with a day to rest. Sunday is my rest day, Siti Farhana. Okay, now the KL and Siti are having a side chat during my set. All right, KL, Siti, go for it. Okay. SL Go, why are you not giving out any more prizes today? Did SL Go win the prize yesterday? Who, what, that wasn't the guy who won the prize. CB Lim, SL, CB, I'm getting confused. You guys with your initials as your name. SL, STIA, huh. JD, O, TB, o, OC, like, I'm Harith Iskandar, HI, 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 Harith Iskandar, hi, hi. Hi, hi, KL. KL, KL, get it? Okay. Okay. Tay Siu Lei, I've attended some of your comedy skits, but find that you tend to recycle your jokes. How do you come up with good, fresh jokes? Are there many good comedians in our country? And how can we encourage more to enjoy, more to join and make a career out of it? Will you encourage people to take this up as a career? Do you agree that many do not make it? Wow, Siu Lei, just about to finish my show. Are you give me another 30-minute question? Okay, tend to recycle your jokes. Yes, that actually happens because the form of stand-up comedy is that we work on our material as we are performing. This is unlike songwriting. Like songwriting, uh, you demand to hear the same song, right? So uh, Sheila Majid is condemned or blessed to sing Sinaran for the rest of her life. Zainal Abidin will be singing Hijau for the rest of his life. He cannot not sing Hijau. He can go to any show, they pay him a million bucks. If he say, I don't want to sing Hijau, they take the million bucks away. Do you know how I got to sing Hijau again? However, stand-up comedy, comedy, we rely on working on a joke. Because every time you hear it, it could be a little bit different. We're just massaging it. But yes, it is very difficult to come up with new jokes. Let me answer some of your questions. How do you come up with good, fresh jokes? You have to work for, on it as you're working on it. Doing shows, doing appearances, that's how you come up with good jokes. If you come to the Joke Factory, you will soon see that some of the common jokes you may hear before, but you will hear them, better versions of them, and that's how you come up with new jokes. Okay, are there many good comedians in the country? Yes, there are. There are some amazing comedians, and you can see them all at the Joke Factory. How many times have I mentioned that? This is called marketing, my friends. This is called marketing. Awesome, awesome comedians. I can name them from you, Prakash, Daniel, uh, Matt Sabah, the, one of my favorites, uh, Phil Za, uh, Farid Azmir, Hindra Boz, um, Kiran Baladevan, just too many to mention. They're all performing at the Joke Factory. Will you encourage people to take this up as a career? 
Yes, if you want to make no money at all, become a stand-up comedian. Do you agree that many do not make it? Hundreds of people do not make do not make it as a stand-up comedian. They join politics. Okay. Hi, Harith. Have you completed your first full marathon? Mohammed is one. I think you have been following my Instagram. I ran up to 16, uh, 16.5, I think. I did my 14.6 or 16.5. Not yet reach half marathon and not yet reach full marathon, which I will get back into, but my knees were like not doing it for me. Uh, so are you a runner, Mohammed is one? Okay. Guys, uh, I've been up here now for about 35 minutes. I'll take a couple more Um I'll take a couple more. Jen Liu, you're asking me such amazing questions. Jen Liu, uh, could you share your challenges as a comedian? Okay. My challenge is to set up dates for people like KLKL. When he told me he already has a date, now I've got to go set him up with one. Do you know how difficult it is to set up a date with a guy whose name is KLKL? I can't go up to my lady friends. Hey, Jenna, Jenna, let me meet, let me introduce you to a guy. Oh, yeah, what's his name? KLKL. Seriously? <laughs> KL, I'm having fun with you. You have such a good, great name. Okay, guys. So, I tell you what. Uh, this has been an amazing uh, experience for me. I've really, really enjoyed myself. Uh, I, I hope you've enjoyed it too. I hope you've enjoyed the whole weekend on Satya Virtual X. I myself have been checking out all the halls, the Malaysia Hall, International Hall, uh, the Citizen uh, Satya. And the, the, so many good properties out there, so much information to get. Um, I do wish you all the best if you're out there hunting on the property market. And I can guarantee you that probably Satya is probably, if not the best, if not one of the best, definitely the best a group of people that you can go to because at the end of the day, it's people who make the company. And I know I've, I've done a lot of work for Satya. They got some of the best people. So um, I hope you've had a great weekend. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this particular section. Um, if you have, you know, let us know in the comment section. Um, stay home, stay safe, COVID-19. Thank you very much, COVID. He's just joined the conversation. He's very, been very busy in Kedah, in Perlis. So thank you for checking in on us. How's Perlis doing, COVID-19? Okay, so guys, once again, thank you very much uh, on behalf of myself and the Joke Factory. Thank you. Thank you very much, Satya Virtual X, for inviting me. Thank you for being part of this uh, occasion. And I do hope to see you real, real soon, uh, if not live in the Joke Factory, then online somewhere around. So once again, Trima Kase, Assalamu Alaikum. Enjoy the rest of your evening and have a great weekend ahead. Satya Prana, get hectic. Get busy. Jen Liu, thank you for all the amazing questions. Uh, and uh, um, KLKL, all the best, bro. I'm seeing you at the club, setting you up with a date with PJ, PJ. Good night. Trima Kase. Bye. All right. Thank you very much, Hari Duskanda. That was really, really awesome. You know what? We have to start to frequently visit the Joke Factory in Publica because we need our weekly doses of laughs, right? And uh, you know what? There was a lot of sound, life advice, and great observations in that comedy skit that we saw earlier. So I really enjoyed it. I am sure you have enjoyed it too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have been live for three days now, starting from the 14th, and it ends on 16th of August, which is today and tonight itself. It was a very great pleasure meeting all of you online, and I hope that we can continue uh, this relationship and rapid building, transfer it outside to the real world and start something new. Well, having said that, it's always a pleasure to have you, to serve you, and I certainly hope we will cross paths again. City Virtual X live ends tonight. However, our online platform, which you have been into and you have seen the booths and the info and everything that's in it, it will stay online. So you are still going to have the chance to search and visit that online platform. Anyhow, um, ladies and gentlemen, I and Satya Virtual X are signing out tonight and I will be leaving you with a live session of our project Alam Impian located in Shah Alam. So guys, girls, Rakyat Malaysia, my friends and family, Take care of yourselves, continue practicing precautionary measures against COVID-19. And remember, kita belum menang. We have to continue this fight against COVID-19. Until we meet again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. 
and good night.